we are going to the new apartment tomorrow. And we've got double fridge and freezer. Nice, spacious. We're going to go shopping very soon and fill this bad boy up. So this is our third room in this hotel. We've had to ask for uh, another head there. I've got some stains, some yellow ones. I've got yellow ones. Oh, high five. <laughs> We are off to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. We're getting the bus from Singapore all the way there. Um, so we're crossing the land border on this bus. We'll put how much it is on the screen. Again, we're not entirely sure. I think it's to get scanned in at Malaysia, but it's been quite hard. They're not speaking English and it's all very rushed on and off the bus with all of our bags. So I guess we'll get our passports checked. A bit rushy rushy in it, so a bit rushy rushy. We've left our bags on there. Yeah. He said we were getting back on the bus, so hopefully yeah, we'll do. So we just got off the bus in Kuala Lumpur. Um, the whole journey took about five hours and we got dropped off at a place called Times Square, which is like, well, from what we understand, it's like a main shopping mall. But obviously it's like a main central bit where like everything goes on. Um, so we was like, oh, let's go train to the shopping mall, maybe get some food, connect to Wi-Fi, try and get to the hotel. Got in here, realized there's a Nando's in here. So we came straight to Nando's. There hasn't been a Nando's anywhere else, it's actually safe. So when you pick the spiciness of the chicken, in England, the uh, medium section obviously comes on medium. Here is mild, because in Asia, our medium is their mild. Everything's spicy. So we went for Nando's after getting off the bus. And now we've just arrived at a hotel called Sighting Hotel, I think it's pronounced, in Kuala Lumpur. Just got to our room. Wait. What? There's no desk in there. What? Where's for a desk? Would it have it on the picture? So we wanted a room that would be good to work in. We're going to work hard on YouTube for the next like a week or two. Um, we've requested two chairs and a desk, and we have neither. They didn't give us two chairs. They told us they couldn't give us two chairs, even though I spoke to someone before I come about two chairs. He said, oh, sorry, they can't do two chairs. So I said, okay, fine. But now there's no desk in there. Or one chair. You got any stains? Yeah, should we compare stains? <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I've got, I've got hair. A, that's a nice stain. I've got hair as well. I've got hair. I've got two hairs. I think I've got some stains. I think I can see some stains. <laughs> so this is our third room in this hotel. We've had to ask for uh, another hair there. I've got some stains, some yellow ones. I've got yellow ones. Oh, high five. <laughs> 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 yeah, so third room. Um, first room had no desk when we asked for a desk to work in here. Second room was twin beds when we obviously asked for a double bed. And that third room has a desk and a bed, but every single room that I've checked has filthy sticky floors, sticky toppies, top surfing. You can see there's just shit. There's, there's um, lipstick. On the mugs. On the mugs as well. There's dust everywhere. I'm looking for a new It's hotel, definitely like the dirtiest room we've been in in a while. And this was like 13 pound a night. 13 pound a night. 
13 pound 50 a night. It's quite a lot. Yeah, it's not great compared to some of the places we've stayed in for the same price. Uh, but I think Kuala Lumpur is a bit more on the pricey side than other places in Southeast Asia. So we might have to just suck it up <laughs> and stay here or find somewhere um, a bit nicer. But we're looking for somewhere now. But we did ask the man downstairs if we can have the room cleaned first thing in the morning. So if they clean it, then I can't see why we won't stay here. But we will see. So it's our second day in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we spent the morning at the local library to do some YouTube work as we want to get out of our hotel room because we're not enjoying it there. It's still really dirty, like the maids haven't really cleaned up much. Um, it's just a bit like depressing now to be honest. So we have been doing a bit of research and looking around online to find somewhere new to go that's gonna be more suited to us as we wanna we wanna stay here for a while and work on YouTube and stuff so we wanted to like settle somewhere because we've been moving around a lot lately. So yeah, we've chosen Kuala Lumpur and the hotel isn't right for us so we what have we done? We've got an apartment. So we are going to the new apartment tomorrow. So we will show you what it looks like. We're excited. We're excited. We're just gonna go get some lunch now. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will be better for us to like settle down for a little bit and get on with YouTube. Not be depressed inside our little <laughs> hotel room. shopping because we're doing cooking and all sorts we haven't had an apartment yet we've been paying for food everywhere we've been for seven months and I going out to eat it. going out to eat yeah going out to eat and i haven't missed cooking but i'm quite looking forward to cooking and also eating cereal sorry the camera ran out of battery um yeah so we're gonna eat some cereal in the mornings and we're gonna go shopping get some food and then have a little pad to do some work so we'll see you guys in a minute so this is from 7-eleven in Kuala Lumpur you can get loads of different uh, coffee flavours and I've just yeah, done mine yeah. and it smells good I've mixed it yet let's, uh, let's give it a mix to our new apartment and the lifts aren't working and we were on the ninth floor and we've asked for stairs I've been told to just wait so I don't know if there is any stairs wait for me I can't see <laughs> found some stairs <laughs> see an open floor plan style apartment. We've got a kitchen over here. If you look, you just walk behind these counters. We've got an oven, a fully working oven. We've got a hole that doesn't work, but they're giving us an optional side of here for us to use, which does work. So we can do all of our cooking here. We've got a nice little light here, so we can see what we're cooking. This doesn't work, so we can't see what we're cooking. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got lots of cupboards here. 
Not much going on in that cupboard there, as you can see, we've got a nice little chopping board. Pots and pans, empty cupboard. Clean the equipment, always need cleaning the equipment. Nice, spacious. We're gonna go shopping very soon and fill this bad boy up. We've got a microwave over there as well. So as you come out of the kitchen, we've got some storage area here for all of our bags. Which our bags are currently downstairs because the lift wasn't working. Just a uh, shoe. Oh, that's a shoe. Oh, that's a shoes. Yes. <laughs> I think that's what it was, but that is yeah. perfect. Um, these drawers don't open. So. And as you come over here, you've got this nice little secluded area, table and chairs for eating with dinner at night time, maybe do a bit of work, laptop there, whatever you want, you just fancy just sitting there. But yeah, I mean, it's the, I've never seen anything quite closed in. It's cosy. But it's cosy, I do like it. <laughs> so as we come over here into the front room, we have a lovely sofa which you can lay on like this, watching Netflix, you can chill, have a little nap if you want. Me and Sophie have been sitting on this sofa today, we've been doing a little bit of work. And as we look over here, we've got a lovely 40 inch TV Netflix TV. So Netflix on there, and obviously what more, what more do you need other than having Netflix? So that's what I really know. Internet, 100 meg up, 100 meg down, perfect for working. That's our nice big spacious living room. So now we're going to show you the bathroom and the bedroom. Let's go to the bathroom first. So we've got a bath and we've got a shower, so we can have a little nice chilled out bath in the evening, what's we've been doing work all day, we've got a nice big mirror, a washing machine, so we don't have to take our stuff to the laundry anymore. Not only is this a lovely bathroom, it's also... An ensuite. This is the bedroom. <laughs> So it's a nice big spacious bedroom, got a nice bed, it's very comfy, it's like... It's like pocket sprung, memory foam. Yeah, memory foam, that's the one. Got a little desk here, can do some work, do my makeup, do my hair. Got a mirror as well. Got a hair dryer which I've missed, I haven't brought one with me from home. Nice big open windows, it's like tables, some nice artwork on the wall, big wardrobes. So that was our apartment that we've just got today. Yeah, so we've had a bit of a nightmare trying to find somewhere here in Kuala Lumpur. Everything's quite a bit more pricier. You don't yeah. get as much value for money. Yeah, here as some other places in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um, so we had a little look around and we've been searching for apartments for the last few days and we found this one. And yeah, we're happy with it and we can stay here for a little while and work. It works out that we're paying about £21 per day uh, for the apartment, which isn't too bad, but it is obviously quite expensive. It's not far off Western price, it won't. It's, uh, it's still quite a lot cheaper. It includes everything. It includes here, everything, yeah, the true, true. And the Wi Fi. It's very cheap. And we've got like all the cooking equipment here, um, you know, obviously furniture and stuff. But it includes everything, so all we need to do is go out and buy our food now. Yeah. So hotels, it doesn't work out that your money stretches as much, but it seems like the apartments for long term are where you can get your value for money. So if you are in Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia for a little while, maybe look at um, apartments, because it seems like you can get more value for money, because this apartment's lovely. Yeah, so yeah, we're looking forward to staying here for a bit and yeah. chilling out and doing some work on YouTube and yeah. stuff. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So we've got to the supermarket, we're gonna do our first um, supermarket shop since we were in England. <laughs> since like January. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Ooh. What was that, huh? Big thing. Go. Yeah. Three. 
Not much. We are going cheap, cheap, cheap today. What are we getting now? Uh, squash. squash. There you go. So these is what we've got so far. We've got some bits with some pasta, some rice, some milk, cereal. Now we're gonna look for some juice. Nearly done. Got some meals. Two trolleys full and stuff. Quite They're expensive, nice. isn't it? Well, it's a bit cheaper than England, but. A bit cheaper than England, but not more far. Well, I don't know actually. England's had a massive price, price increase, so probably cheapest chips out here. with working on YouTube we basically forgot that we're still in Kuala Lumpur and we decided to come here to try and film some videos and we forgot and we've come here and we've just seen an amazing view and swimming pools and we forgot about it yeah completely forgot that we were even abroad still yeah because we've just been in that room <laughs> working um, so we thought we'd come and check it out up here and it's really nice it's we definitely need to um, come up here and get actually in get pool. in the pool one time yeah, yeah. But for £21 a night, not bad. Yeah, Very nice. Good. So we're actually here in Kuala Lumpur in the monsoon season. And as you can see, we're about to be sh struck by light. No, we're, <laughs> we're about to, we've got lightning coming here. I don't want to get struck by lightning, but it's, it's uh, yeah, a bit mad. Let's just say we didn't time it right with Malaysia. We did quite well with the other countries, but yeah, it's uh, monsoon season. I think because we come from Indonesia to here, we assumed it was going to be sort of similar, but we forgot that Malaysia shares the same um, seasons as Thailand, and they're in monsoon season, so we just didn't think about it. We're yet to explore Kuala Lumpur. We're obviously getting work done and then we're going to explore. But those are the famous buildings over there, so we're not far away from Twin the Twin Tower building. Is that what they're called? Twin Towers? Yeah, they're called the Twin Towers. Oh, really? Thank you for watching our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more Malaysian content coming your way. We've got so many videos to bring to you guys. We hope you enjoyed this one. Hit a like if you did. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one next. We're in Singapore in this video. We'll see you next time, bye. Can Singapore be done on a budget? This is doing Singapore backpacker style. As we're on a budget, we've spent the last